So hello students, welcome to Evergreen e-learning app. So today we are here to demonstrate how to work with basics of PowerPoint presentation in which we will include how to work with images, video and timers. So let's begin. Open PowerPoint on your PC. Click on blank presentation. Create two dummy slides such as start and uh, end. Now just create a new slide and uh, here you can see in your workspace you are having six different options. Insert a table, insert a chart, smart graphics, pictures, online pictures and videos. So here we will click on first of all pictures. So let's browse one pic from my PC. So here I can have a picture. Let's say this one. So this is the picture. We can now adjust it in our slide accordingly. You can manually stretch it by the use of these uh, options given here. Or you can what you can do is you can just right click on the image and you can go to size and position attribute. This will open a new toolbar for you where you can change the values and adjust your image accordingly. So we are done with the image part here. Okay now let's create another slide and here we'll see how to work on videos. So here's the option to insert a video. So just click it and uh, choose one video in my case it's present on the desktop so I'll add my video so this is my video you can see you can adjust it on your PPT slide and there's an important uh, option here that is playback so you can see playback and uh, just see this start option the start option has other three options that is in click sequence automatically and when clicked on. So we'll uh, experience how they work. No, so let's see automatically how this automatically works. So we have just selected automatically and I'm going to show you how it works. So let's start from beginning. So I've started my PPT. This is the image. So you can see the video just started without any click. So I hope you have understood. So let's try the second option. So now again I am on my video and uh, now you can see I will go to playback. Now I will choose when clicked on. So I will go to my slideshow from beginning. So let's start the image. And now you can see the video is not playing until you click on the video it will not play. So I am going to click on it. So now you have realized that how two options are different and how you can play with it. Ok guys we are done with the video part. Now let's see how to work on timers. So create a new slide. Timers are actually very important uh, when it comes to quiz PPTs. So let's see how to create a small timer. Just remove these panels and go to insert shape. So choose one shape, let it be a uh, over or a circle. Go to the animation part and click on add animation go to exit animation and click on wheel animation now you can see the wheel working and now go to the start button and choose with previous and give it a duration as per your convenience so I am setting it to 5 seconds and now again choose insert and insert a smaller shape
and you can change its color choose a lighter shade and give it a value let's if i and give it black color right just create a copy of it copy and press four times and you will have five copies of this circles which you can use so now you are having five circles now change the values from 5 4 3 2 and 1 now what you have to do is you have to select the particular circle now let's it 5 and add animation so go to animations and add animation and now again go to exit animation and say disappear so you can see it's working and now what to do go to the start uh, option and click with previous and you have to now set the delay so its delay will be 1 second so 5 will stay for 1 second and now click this four image again go to animation add animation again exit animation disappear again click on with previous and now the delay will be of 2 seconds again click on third image with three value add animation exit animation disappear with previous delay of 3 seconds go to the second value circle and add animation exit animation disappear with previous and the delay of 4 seconds and the last one go to add animation exit animation disappear with previous and the delay of 5 seconds so now what you have to do is just place these circles inside the bigger circle like this So finally you will get something like this. And now you can uh, run your PPT. Go to slide show from beginning. Start as your image, as your video, and as your timer perfectly working. Okay now let's learn how to print the PPT. Go to the file option. and then click on print here and now you can see this print portion so this is the area which you will be using now first of all select the printer so there's a lot of options here so you have to choose the aligned printer whatever you have uh, installed and uh, then see this setting portion so the first one is print all slide this is a by default option given to you so this will print slide by slide and if you want to set the custom range you can set it and you want to start from a particular slide you can always do that and the second option is very important so let's learn uh, very carefully here so this is the second option uh, notes page so notes page will give you image as well as text written with it so if i'm having a text with it let's say this uh, ppt is having a text so let it be my video and let it be my image and now you can see in the print option and now you have set it to notes page and you can see the text is appearing with the image so you are clear with this thing and uh, you can see the text is appearing with the video also and the third option uh, you can see here is outline so outline will only give you the text present on each slide of the ppt and uh, this will help you to 
understand the uh, flow of the presentation and uh, this thing can be given to the audience of the ppt also so they can remember on which slide which uh, things are going to be discussed so this option is very handy and uh, now you can uh, see handout option so handout option is very useful when it comes to printing so let's see this four slide horizontal this option will enable you to print four slides on one piece of paper so this is very handy and economical also you can see there are more spaces here so you can always choose landscape orientation this will give you a better view and uh, this will look nice also when you present your presentation in a hard copy manner so i think this option is very much clear to all you can always have uh, a vertical side printing also and a horizontal side printing also we'll prefer you choose four slides per page because it looks nice on paper second option is uh, print one side print on both sides this thing can also be used like if you want to save paper this is recommended also that you can print on both sides of paper landscape orientation portrait orientation already clear to you color color is very important if you don't have a colored printer you can use gray scale option which is very effective and uh, more appropriate than uh, pure black and white because pure black and white uh, may give you some unclarity and clarity is present with gray scale so you can easily see here and then last option is uh, header and footer so you can always manage a date on your ppt you can always manage a header just click the header and footer options here and put on header so let's say my it event and in footer you can say your school name right so you can say apply to all thank you so much for active learning and hands on session on powerpoint presentation stay tuned for next exciting and project relevant videos on ms excel and spreadsheets